You know, insomniac keeps making an appearance in my mental when I'm experiencing insomnia. Come on, son. So insomniac decided to confirm that Genki and Across the Spider Verse was indeed playing Marvel Spider Man 2 and not 1. And for some reason, they decided to confirm this at 2 a.m. Yeah, I know, I know. That's 2 p.m. in the most eastern parts of Asia, and I guess it's around 11 p.m. in Cali and 7 a.m. in Europe, and whatever, whatever. But yeah, nah, that was still random. But all that aside, whoever's behind Insomniac's tweets is funny as hell. And I'm pretty sure they're beginning to hate their job. Oh, y'all don't believe me? Alright, that's because you didn't see this conversation. Well, would you look at that? Is he playing Spider-Man 1 or 2, though? Marvel Spider-Man 2. Ayo, for real? Proof? Like the full video or something? The proof is we're Insomniac Games. Damn. So no footage? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm convinced that y'all definitely got this person rereading through their contract every day when they get home. Trying to refresh their memory on whether they definitely agreed to dealing with this BS in their contract every day or not. And every day, they see the dealing with BS clause in the contract. And they skip through to the last page where they ask for your signature. And they're like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I did sign that shit. I hate it here. Point is, these brothers and sisters over at Insomniac are getting fed up with some of these convos. My advice to us as fans is let's chill out a bit and check articles and other sources where we can find answers that they confirmed already instead of tweeting everything at them. And my advice for Insomniac, brace yourself. Because with a place like Twitter being one of your main marketing tools, these next four months are going to be longer than the three years it took you to complete this damn game. Y'all don't have to take my advice. I'm just trying to help y'all out. Basically, my point is, I just think we all got to breathe. Y'all know, Lamaze type-ish. But with that being said, I'm going to help us all out in this detailed roundup vid. And if y'all like this, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, you feel me? And check out the links in my description to get y'all some discounts on some pro gaming controllers. But alright, so first, I'm just going to rehash that the game is only coming out on PS5. And the reason why is because it's a Sony exclusive. And the PS4 wouldn't be able to handle this game in the way it was intended. Graphics would have a lower resolution. The refresh rates would be slower. The smoothness of switching back and forth between Peter and Miles during free roam would be rougher. And the processor would just have an altogether harder time keeping up. See, what we gotta remember is the PS5 has an 8 core processor that runs at a variable frequency capped at 3.5 gigahertz. And the PS4 has a conjunction of two quad cores, which adds up to 8 but works more like two entities working together versus one built with a certain specific intention in mind and is capped at 1.6 gigahertz long story short the ps5 is a lot faster and can carry out a lot more information in a shorter period of time i hope i explained that right or understand that right if not y'all got more than enough permission to light me up in the comments essentially what i mean is with no loading screens and seamless travel from point a in harlem to point b in soho there's only two ways to make that happen. Either it constantly loads at a speed you don't notice, which means the processor is computing that fast, or it's all happening all at the same time. Either way, the PS4 is almost 10 years old, fam. It's not going to be able to keep up. And then folks with PS4s would complain about performance, and folks with PS5s would be like, I'm not getting the full return on my investment. To which I'd have to say, this is true. Oh, well. And what's also true is that we kind of need that parts of brooklyn and queens have also been added to the map and confirmed so for it to run smoothly it has to be on a more powerful computer i.e a faster processor in other words the ps5 especially with the confirmation that the map is going to be double the size of the previous game also this past week it was confirmed that coney island was added to the map now the reason i didn't make a viz solely about that is because that's that's what just a part of brooklyn <laughs> so i was kind of like nah i guess i could have made it short but eh they also confirmed the Emily May Foundation, but we saw that in the pic where Venom was trying to give Pete and Miles the beat, so we already knew that was confirmed. And that's not to sound unenthusiastic about Coney Island. I mean, that's fire, and I guess it's nice to know what parts of Brooklyn, because, you know, Brooklyn is huge. So I guess that part is kind of cool. Coney Island will be lit. I feel like it'll probably be a story element more so than a place that you probably chill at, but I could be wrong. I'll just have to wait till October 20th to see. Well, anyways, moving on to the pre-orders. So we all know pre-orders opened on June 16th. And in order to get the collector's edition, you can only purchase that from going to the PlayStation Direct website. But the other two editions, being the Digital Deluxe Edition and the Standard Edition, you could get anywhere. So either through the PlayStation Store on your console or through the PlayStation Direct website. So that was cool. 
But what was confirmed was that the 10 new outfits that you get with the Digital Deluxe Edition, you know, the 5 for Miles and the 5 for Pete, they're not going to be available to get through gameplay alone. Now that part, I kind of understand some folks being like, damn, but the last two games, we could get all the outfits through gameplay. And that's true. But what I will say about that, y'all, is that there does have to be some kind of incentive for folks to get the Digital Deluxe Edition. Otherwise, there's no point in really getting the Digital Deluxe Edition if they were just going to give us the other suits for free. And, not to mention, there's still going to be a ton of outfits that we will all be able to get through gameplay. It's just those specific 10 aren't a part of them. With that being said, of course you can always purchase an upgrade from the Standard Edition to the Digital Deluxe Edition, regardless of whether you purchased a Physical Standard Edition or a Digital Standard Edition. And essentially what they're saying with that is, those 10 outfits will be available for a $10 purchase, which would literally equate to getting the Digital Deluxe Edition at 10 more dollars than the Standard Edition. Really, all y'all are doing is paying a dollar for each one of those new outfits. Now, the last thing that I wanted to bring up that was confirmed recently was that there won't be any demo. And to be honest, I kind of don't mind that. But I also would just say that the truth is, most games, whether AAA or AA, they don't have demos anymore. And to be honest, it's probably better for their marketing. Because just think about all the stuff folks were complaining about and nitpicking at from just watching the 12-minute gameplay demo they showed us. Or folks acted like watching that demo was almost the same as getting the experience and playing the whole game. And not taking into account that it was a demo built just for Summer Game Fest, which means they were showing us what they wanted to show us. Which also means they were not showing us what they didn't want to show us. Basically, the whole thing was controlled. Now, don't get your boy wrong. If there was a demo, of course I'd play it. But... I'm just saying it doesn't really make me too upset that we don't get one. At this point, I don't really expect it. And it's just more fun when we actually get the game. I'm sure everybody that's been looking forward to it is generally going to like it. Even folks that they bring in who didn't play the other ones, they'll probably like it too. But yeah, y'all, that's all I really have for y'all today. I just wanted to give y'all a little detail roundup of what we've learned recently and what was confirmed. And my last thing is I'm with Tim because this right here, for so many reasons, there's some of the dumbest ish I ever read.